Quite all right, man. And I missed you last week, man. I was, uh, I was, I had work obligations, unfortunately. <laughs> as 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 much as I like to uh, play myself up as an announcer, I do have to have a nine to five. But it's uh, a little later than five, obviously, because otherwise <laughs> I would have been here. But regardless of that, it's good to see you, Zant, and it's good to see uh, it's good to see some melee doubles action. So, uh, I mean, talk about Dimension and Pilingual last match taken to the very limit. Yeah, I'm by, surprised uh, that they uh, lost game two. Uh, yeah. I, like, I've seen a lot of the teams around here, and I know that, uh, oh man, I can't, I feel bad for not remembering the tags, but I've known, I've seen them, like, do, like, do well, and, like, take it close, but still, like, Dementia and Pilingual have been pretty solid, they team a lot, and I was expecting to see them kind of, like, pretty solidly take it. Yeah, true. But at the same time, I mean, first of all, you know, any given Sunday, you know, any team can win. Yeah. Uh, I mean, any given Tuesday, considering this is salt. But regardless, <laughs> um, regardless of that, it seems like I mean, to mention a bilingual, yeah, they're great individual players. Sometimes they may not be on the on the same page. I, I feel like that's we, definitely their biggest issue. They they're two good players to get uh, separately, but like not always the best. They're not. They don't work together in teams that often. Fair enough. Uh, we saw Arctic and Burnt Beans win the first match of the win the first set of this tournament, beating Mad Capanunga, who again took to mention a bilingual two three games. So really, this tournament's wide open. But they are facing Chers and Metal Reaper. Yeah. Let's uh, face it, Metal Reaper always goes deep in these tournaments. And Chers, well, I mean, beating uh beating well, let's face it, beating the the metaphorical pants off of Dimension <laughs> in uh in yeah. six games in the. Uh, What's yeah. it called? L last uh, last two weeks, I believe it was. Yeah, Chers is really good. Two weeks ago, I should have um, said. I'm glad that he, I, I'm seeing this Fox more from him. Uh, his Falco is good, but it's definitely like not his best character. Because uh, like with the way he plays, it's like the suppressive force, and it just works so much better as Fox. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can and like he just looks so clean when he does it. Uh, Unfortunately, he just stole lead from uh, Mel Reaper, but a really yeah. good stall to try to keep himself alive. As you mentioned, they work together really well, but it is uh, Chers is the only one who has yet to lose a stock already at 176, and still not going down after that uh, up air. Yeah, uh, he's really good at like dodging moves. Uh, where, like, I think his biggest flaw in, like, singles is his neutral can be kind of weak, uh, and it just kind of relies on his, the strength of his punish game, the strength of his recovery, uh, but he does to, like, trade hits, but, like, in teams, you have your, a partner to really cover those issues, and so, like, he can do Fox State with no fear of losing, of, like, the weaknesses Fox has. He does have a tendency to goad you into mistakes, and that seems to be one of his biggest strengths. And I mean, just confirming the kill right after the death at 220. So, I mean, you know the man knows how to stay alive, and, and doubles really just go in the distance. You're yeah. not running a sprint, you're running a marathon, and Cheers uh, exemplifies that to a T. Yeah. That's uh, all you gotta say. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> no, no, uh -huh. I, I was, I just, I was just giving you crap for no reason, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes there's just nothing more to say. Uh, You're absolutely right. You know what? You let the game speak for itself. Yes. Yeah, Sometimes, I, I believe just, I believe sometimes just people talk too much and just try to like make noise to make noise. Yeah. Uh, I've been accused of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Chers once again. Oh wow! Just losing his second stock. Everyone else is at kill percent though in their stocks. Yeah, uh, but I mean, he, he did uh, he did punish him off the uh, maybe he just got a little impatient there. He's going for the bear, got caught, and uh, yeah, back throw off of the stage and yeah, confirms the kill. Yeah, but I mean, already a stock has to be borrowed, so you know, four to two in terms of stocks. Yeah, and I don't see you can't be doing too bad. <laughs> <laughs> so like the good thing about like both these characters is that. If you leave them alone, they're going to recover just fine. Uh, in like singles, you see both these characters Ooh. as like exploitable recoveries, able to work around. And but like 
both Metal Reaper and Insurers have been able to put pressure on to the opponents when they went to when they go to edge guard each other, that they've been able to live longer than they uh, normally would. Confirmed off of the edge there by uh, Chur showing why he is the back-to-back -back salt champion, and eventually, it's uh, it's Metal Reaper doing the uh, doing the dirty deed at the end of that match, taking the first game for his team. Yeah. But uh, uh, that went Arctic, close. Arctic and Baked Beans, they were making a run of it at the end, trying to make it a little bit close, but ultimately that damage percentage uh, gap was just a little too much to make up. Yeah, uh, they did a really good job. I think that's... They were able... I feel like they had too much space. Chers and Metal Reaper were able to get away too quickly. Yeah. Uh, so I like this pick of Battlefield. Uh, Triplats really worked out for them. Uh, and as long as they don't let... Like, don't get oppressed by either of these two forces, uh, they should uh, be able did, to... Did you just change the... Okay, you know what, never mind. Yeah, I have no idea why. Maybe huh. it was on accident. I mean, it had to, but you know what? Yeah. They're, they, they, they execute a lot of actions per minute. Sometimes <laughs> it could just happen by accident. Yeah. You never know. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to judge anyone. Uh, confirm uh, confirmation off of the, I think the fair by uh, Falco. I didn't, yeah, I, I just looked away for a second. But. Unfortunately, like they could have gotten that stock off of Metal Reaper two, and been in advantage. But you saw that they seem to both want to do something, and like not not have one cover stage, one cover leads. And by not having confidence in each other's options, they both did nothing because they didn't want to also step on each other. Uh, and in doing so, they let Metal Reaper keep that stock, and they could have had an advantage over Churz for at least a little bit. Yeah, and you got to think that, uh, I mean, just going back to that first game, you have to think that the deciding factor was Churz really only getting killed at 220 as he loses yeah. the stock there. I mean, interesting, only uh, 5 to 6 in favor of Arctic and Burnt Beans. But you got to think that, I mean, him being able to stay alive for that long wasn't able... They weren't able to kill Confirms off at the top just yet. I mean, and Chur is just uh, staying alive for that long. Because if he dies at a lower percentage, maybe he dies a little late earlier in that last match. And all of a sudden, we're looking at a very different complexion for game one and possibly the set. Yeah. Uh, they've been doing a, I, They at least have been doing a very good job at, like, when they have to edge out Chur's, they know for sure who has what role. Uh, it seems like they're a bit more unsure when it comes to Metal Reaper. Uh, even if Metal Reaper is on stage, whether Metal Reaper, uh, even when like Metal Reaper is on stage, they can edge guard Churz, but they don't know how to work around. Uh, they don't know how to work around Churz when Metal Reaper is off stage. It may, uh, it may very well just be a thing about matchup. I mean, Churz and Metal Reaper two excellent players, obviously. Yeah. But I mean, it's uh, maybe just a little disadvantageous for both of them as the up air confirming the kill. Yeah. Uh, and again, that's the quality of uh, that's the quality of Metal Reaper coming through. Yeah, uh, like Metal Reaper is one of those players where I feel like he would work so he works so well in doubles because uh, he has so much knowledge of every character. He's able to play every character very to like a decent level, especially at like for going to the locals. Uh, right. He's going to consistently do well at locals, no matter what character he's playing. Uh, and he definitely has like his better characters. But in doing so, it allows him to play doubles because he's really good at like playing the partner. Right. Uh, and so he can work with his partner very well in doing so. Uh, but this is to be an easy edge guard. Yeah, Metal Reaper, one of them just covers stage. They both have very good options to cover uh, stage oh. and lives. The up air does, uh, does confirm the kill, and that will be it. Yes. Uh, Churz and Metal Reaper showing why they won uh, melee doubles last week. And uh, Arctic, well, you know, he did finish third.